Hey guys, welcome to the J Chip Show. My name is J Chip, and today I'm going to be doing a PS2 collection video. This is a two part video, and the reason why it's in two parts is because the Wisconsin internet is real and it'll take a long time to upload, so might as well do it. If you don't know, I love the PS2, it's one of my favorite systems of all time. As a matter of fact, here is my fat model that I salvaged from a very dirty collector and I cleaned it up and it worked perfectly fine. And the PS2 I mainly use is the PS2 Silver Slim. And yes, that is a Batman sticker that I tried to peel off and failed at it because I'm lazy. And the PS2 is one of the best systems ever made. It's one of the best systems for RPGs, horror games, platforms. Um, racing games is a lot of fun. Uh, there's so many good games on the PS2. And I barely scratched the surface on the greatness that is the PS2 with my collection. However... My collection, I feel like, does have some of the heavy hitters, and I'm going to show you show you guys my PS2 collection here today. And as I said, it's a two-part video, so we got a entire stack of PS2 games right here that you can't see, but you will be seeing right now. So, first game we have Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirit. Um, this is not complete, um, but this is a very, very fun tactical-ish RPG uh, the voice acting is very, very bad, but the graphics for the time was pretty good, pretty good. and I like the music. And, but this game is a lot of fun, and I do recommend that you play it. It's not that expensive. Up next, The Bard's Tale. This is complete, and this is a very awesome game. This is very funny, too. Um, like, even on the disc, it's hilarious. Like, focus. For a really, hold up. For a really disturbing uh, image, flip over the, flip disc over. Yeah, that, that that's funny to me. Um, you can play this on the PS4. There is a remaster version, but it's only digital that I know of. Maybe a physical one out there, but I don't know. But play the game. It is available for PS4 if you don't have a PS2. Up next. Batman Begins. This is complete, and this is one of the most underrated Batman games I can think of. Um, if you are a fan of the Batman Arkham games, like I am, you'll really like this game. It's got the same elements, it's got the stealthy type thing, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Plus, the soundtrack is fantastic. And it's got clips from the Batman Begins movie, so thumbs up for that. Up next, The Bouncer. Um, so this is a very, very short game. This is one of the first uh, Squaresoft, Square Enix games that uh, was released on the PS2. This is before Final Fantasy X. And this game is actually pretty fun. And yeah, it's short, but for what it is, it's not bad. Uh, also... The main guy kind of looks like Sora from Kingdom Hearts, if I do not say so myself. Next up, we got Castlevania Lament of Innocence. Um, I haven't played a lot of this game, I'll be quite honest with you, but from what I have played, it's kind of like a Devil May Cry ripoff, but it's still really fun. I want to get back into this and eventually beat it. Oh man, up next we got Cold Fear. Um, talk about an underrated, underrated game. This game is a lot of fun. Um, it's a survival horror game where you're on a ship. And the, hor the horror aspect, besides the monsters that you fight, is the ship itself. Because the way that the game is designed is that when like the sh you, like, you feel the ship like move. And like water will be crashing into the thing because it's a heavy storm. And sometimes you'll be slipping off. And granted, I haven't beaten this game, but this is definitely something I do want to beat eventually because this game is a lot of fun. Also reminds me of Dead Space in a way. Next game, Chaos Legion. Very, very edgy and meh at the same time. It's not a bad game at all. It's just I don't like the combat. I was expecting something like Devil May Cry because it is kind of a hack and slash game, but it's so clunky and slow. But visually, it's still a pretty good, cool game. Um, 
It's made by Capcom, obviously, so yeah, not a bad game, but definitely something I would not recommend. Next game, I actually recently picked this up not too long ago, and that's Dark Cloud. Um, I'll be honest, I've never played Dark Cloud, and I'm happy, I, I can't wait to get into this. I picked it up a few weeks ago, and I just still haven't played it. It's not complete, which is a bummer, but I mean, it, it is what it is. Next up, we have a trilogy of games, and that's the Devil May Cry games. Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3. Um, I love Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry means so much to me. Uh, I played it all the time as a kid. And I think it's just because Hideki Kamiya directed my favorite game of all time, Resident Evil 2. He also directed this game, and I, I love his style. As a matter of fact, this was going to be a Resident Evil game, but it was so different, they might as well make it into uh, its own IP. Um, out of all three of these, I would have to say this is my personal favorite, but this comes at a very close second. And this game just sucks all in general. It's slow, it's clunky, the story's not great, Dante's an emotionless bitch most of the time. I don't like the female character at all. Um, some of the bosses are alright, but it's mainly these two. And I still haven't played Devil May Cry 5 yet, which is kind of paining me in my uh, ass. But someday I'll get there. Oh, and Devil May Cry 4 is pretty cool too. Though that's not on the PS2, so. Up next, Disgaea. Hour of Darkness. Um, I am a huge, huge fan of the Disgaea games, even though this is the only one I have. However, this game is a lot of fun. If you're a fan of tactical RPGs and you want something a little bit more quirky to it, uh, definitely play this. This game definitely, it's definitely a long one. You'll definitely get your time worth with this game. And I love the characters. This is probably my favorite in the Disgaea series. And there's many ways you can play this actually. They actually re-released the first game for PS4 and the Switch. I don't know about the Xbox One, but maybe it's, it is for that. Um, there's also a port of this on the DS, which I haven't tried, but I've heard it pretty good things about it. But this is my preferred way to play it because, I mean, that's the only way I can play it. Up next, something I want to get into. And I know a lot of people love this game. And I haven't played it at all yet. Uh, Dragon Quest 8. Yeah, that's 8. Yeah, 8. Um, it comes with the Final Fantasy XII demo disc, which is kind of the reason why I wanted to play it uh, or pick this up. And I do like Akira Toriyama's art style in these Dragon Quest games, but I don't know. I haven't gotten too into these games, but someday I will. I, I've heard a lot of good things about 8, and yeah, I, I do want to get into it. Talk about a game I do not want care for. Uh... Draken the Ancient Gate. I played about 20 minutes of this and got really bored. Um, the graphics are very, very lame, uh, especially for the time. Uh, the combat's just alright. The controls are very clunky. And it just got to a point where I just got lost all the time and I just couldn't get into it. Another really bad game. <laughs> Uh, the PS2 is filled with tons of great games, but there's a lot of stinkers out there, definitely. Uh, EOE, Eve of Extinction. Now, this is a launch title for the PS2. Definitely not the best launch title that the PS2 should, should have started with. Um, it's, got, it's, it's got some style to it. I do really like this cover a lot, and that's kind of what drew me to it, and it has a low price. But it's so clunky and it's so bad. Um, I do not recommend this game. This might be the worst PS2 game of my collection. You have to play it to understand what I'm talking about. Next game, Extreme G Racing. Um, I'm going to be honest, I haven't played it. Um, I picked it up for a dollar at a thrift store a while ago and I just haven't played it. Um, it's not that it looks bad at all. It's a racing game from what I can see in the back. But, I don't know. Maybe after this video I'll give it a, a good old spin. Next up, um, 
three games everyone should be familiar with, I hope. Final Fantasy for PS2. Final Fantasy 10, 10 2, and 12. Also in here, because I do not have the case for uh, this DS game, I do have Final Fantasy 12, the Revenant Wings. I just keep it in here because I don't have the case for it. Um, all these games um, are pretty damn good in my opinion. Even 10-2. Now, a lot of people may shit on this game because it's got an all-girl cast, the pop music, and it, it story-wise, it's all right, but I really enjoy the combat in this game. Um, 10 does hold a special place in my heart for Final Fantasy games. Uh, this is the first one I... The 10 is the first one I beat, and... I love the world in Final Fantasy X. It's definitely the most nostalgic Final Fantasy game, to, in my opinion. And twelve, not a bad game. Um, definitely something you have to get used to because they change up the battle system. But overall, it's not bad. Uh, but definitely my favorite out of the three is Final Fantasy X. I know Final Fantasy XI was on the uh, PS2, but I never played it because it was MMO. Next up... The Getaway. Um, it's got a very decent story. You play as a guy and you're trying to rescue your son who was kidnapped and uh, the p bad guys are going to threaten to kill your son if you do not do the missions. And I was kind of expecting like a, uh, a true crime sort of thing with the open world. However, it's not really like that. It's kind of like an L.A. Noir, in a way. Uh, it kind of has that vibe going on. But pretty decent game. Not bad at all. Especially if you're into the Driver series. Now, I've definitely talked about this franchise before on my channel. Uh, Grand Theft Auto. I got GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. All three games are fantastic. I could play. I, I did a video about the five games I would play for the I could play for the rest of my life. Uh, these three are definitely up there. Uh, you can give me any one of these games and say, "Hey, you have to play these for the rest of your life," and I'd be totally fine with it. Especially three. Uh, three is very nostalgic to me. Um, Vice City has the best soundtrack, and you can still do a ton of shit in this game. This game is still fun to this day. And yeah, I love I love this trilogy of PS2 games. And the Xbox ports are pretty decent, too. They got better graphics, in my opinion. Uh, talk about a franchise I want to get into. However, it, they're too expensive. Yeah, but I got lucky with Dalhack Infection. It is not complete. But it does have the anime disc. And I have a really, really good friend who is a big, big, big fan of this franchise. And I love the uh, the hack signs. Roots is really good. Legend of the Twilight is meh. But yeah, I, I haven't played this, I'll be honest. And the reason why is because I want to get all of them. And that's going to be a very, very hard task because they're, they're pretty expensive. But I did get lucky with this as I pay like 15 bucks for this. And I thought that was a steal. So maybe I'll get lucky with the rest of them. All right, so the last few uh, games I'm going to go through them rapid fire. I'll give it like a short comment on what I think just to make this video uh, not like a million hours long. Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban. Haven't played it. Hurdy Gurdy. Not bad. Um, definitely something I want to get into, but I haven't gotten too far into it. But still not bad. Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. Um, I like the Hitman games. I like the first three. Haven't played much of the other games, but this is a lot of fun to me and it's very nostalgic. Hot Shots Tennis. Um, I haven't played it, but this looks like a fun party game with me and my friends. Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. I need to get more of the Jack and Daxter games. Go play this shit. Uh, it's on the PS4 for the PS2 Classics. Go get it. Play it. It's good. Katamari Damacy. Um, drugs. 
is the best way I can describe it. You're a little dude rolling a Katamari ball, and everything just gets bigger in that ball. Highly recommend it. Kill Switch. Uh, Metal Jesus has uh, recommended this on his PS2 Hidden Gems video, and I do recommend that you play this. It's a lot of fun. Last stack here for part one at least. I'm going to show these two off. Well. Kingdom Hearts one and two. Um, Kingdom Hearts is very nostalgic to me. I played it when I was younger, and Kingdom Hearts one is definitely my favorite out of the two. I haven't played the new one, uh, Kingdom Hearts three. I haven't played all the Kingdom Hearts at all actually. Um, Next up, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Um, the best way I can describe these games is very nostalgic. I like Kingdom Hearts 1 a lot. Uh, it's my favorite in the series so far. I haven't played a lot of the other ones, but definitely played these two, and I'm looking forward to playing 3 someday. Clonella 2. Uh, Luna Tays Vel, however you pronounce that. Uh, very underrated game. Clonella is a hidden gem, and if you can find it for a cheap price, definitely pick it up and play it. Looney Tunes, back in action. Not a bad uh, platformer. I uh, thought this game was going to be bad, but it's actually a lot of fun. Speaking of Metal Jesus hidden gems, The Mark of Cry. Um, kind of gives me a God of War kind of aesthetic, but not as good, in my opinion. Um, so far, this game is kind of eh. I haven't beat it yet. Max Payne 1 and 2. Um, I've beaten this game. I liked it a lot. Haven't beaten this game. Still like it quite a bit. I have beaten the third game. The third game was kind of eh. Maximo Goes to Glory. Pretty damn hard game for a PS2. My good friend Bob Samurai has a good video on this. I'll leave that in the link description below. And yeah, I, I do recommend you playing this. It's, it's hard though. Alright, Mega Man X Collection. You can't go wrong with Mega Man X. Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. Can't go wrong with Metal Gear games. Um, these two are fantastic, specifically Snake Eater. Snake Eater might be my favorite Metal Gear game. Motocross Mania 3. Uh, pretty fun game if you're into the Road Rash games. Uh, this isn't a bad choice either. Minority Report is very meh in my opinion. Not awful, but definitely underwhelming. And I thought this was going to be a really good game, too. So that completes part one of my PS2 collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please stay tuned for part two. Big thanks to Shaxx59, Warpbait, Stuff We Play, and Neachan for supporting me on Patreon. You guys rock.